Good morning, guys. I hope everyone is having a great start to their morning. Let's go sit down and have a chat. All right, so as you guys can tell by the title, this is going to be a getting back into my fitness journey type of video. I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat during the day, as well as a really good workout that has helped me lose 60 pounds. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Claire. I am 25 years old. I'm gonna be 26 next month. I can't believe it. I have a two-year-old son named Lincoln, and I gained 60 pounds during my pregnancy and lost 70 in the span of about a year. I've documented a lot of my fitness journey. I've taken you guys through some of the workouts that I did, meals that I love, things like that. So we're just going to continue that on in this video. Recently, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, I have completely fell off track when it comes to my fitness journey. I feel like I got to a really comfortable place when it comes to self-confidence and liking what I see when I look into the mirror and just being happy with the weight that I was at. Working out and going to the gym was no longer like my main priority anymore. Simply life just got the better of me and I started to put other things in front of going to the gym and my health. I've developed a really bad habit of eating out. I door dash non-stop which I have gotten better about I will admit and again just not exercising like at all and if I did it would be maybe once a week twice a week and then I would go another week without working out at all. I just had no routine and for me, I'm a really big routine person and I need that structure if I want to achieve my goal. With that being said, that is what this video is about. I am getting back into the routine. I am going back to the gym. Today is Wednesday. I have been consistent with the gym since last Monday. I've gone every single day except for Sunday, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna try and go every single day except for Sundays. I might even give myself a break on Saturdays. Who knows? But five times a week is the goal. I don't know. I can just feel myself getting back into that mindset of insecurity, not being happy with what I see in the mirror, and just not liking how I look. Again, it's June. It's summertime. People are in bikinis. It's hot outside, you wanna wear the shorts, you wanna wear the little crop tops, and I'm just not comfortable in my body right now to do that, and that sucks. And by no means am I saying that you have to be a certain size or be skinny or be fit in order to wear those things. I think it's just, for me mentally, it's hard when I'm just comparing myself to other people. I don't know, just seeing a girl in, in like a really cute short dress and thinking, God, I can never wear that because I have so much cellulite on my legs or my legs are so big or, whatever. I'm just tired of feeling that way. I'm tired of feeling insecure. So I'm hoping with this journey, not only will I feel better physically and stronger and all of that, but I really hope this helps my mental. Just hope it helps me gain back that confidence, truly. But yeah, with this video, I am holding myself accountable. I feel super motivated to get back in the gym. I've honestly been loving it the last like week and a half. I can feel myself getting excited to go and work out and just improve when it comes to like weightlifting and endurance and things like that. So I'm really excited. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys are starting your fitness journey over again as well. Yeah, let's talk about what I eat in a day because food is super, super important when it comes to losing weight. So as you guys just saw in the first clip, I just made myself some coffee. This is my favorite coffee ever and I do not count the calories on this. I don't care about how many calories are in this coffee. It's my guilty pleasure and I'm going to have it. So I just use the Starbucks iced coffee. I usually get their medium roast unsweetened, but today I used their vanilla sweet cream cold brew. It's my first time getting it and I've been loving it lately. It's so, so good. I also pair it with the Starbucks caramel macchiato creamer. It's my favorite. I always use that. I do have a sugar-free one if you guys are watching like your sugar intake, but honestly, I could care less about it. Like it is what it is. <laughs> I think a lot of my weight gain has gone to me getting like Dunkin' and Starbucks out every single day. I literally would, I, I'm not even joking you guys. It was like every single day I would go to either Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. And from Dunkin', I would get their caramel craze latte. Oh, it's so good, but it has so many calories and so much sugar, but it's, it's so good. I'm definitely gonna treat myself to it every now and again, but this coffee at home tastes just as good, and honestly, it's saving me a lot of money. So before I show you guys like all of the food and stuff, I do track my meals through my fitness pal. I have been using it for literally years. You can search for the meal that you're eating, and if you find it, it'll already have the macro set up for you, or you can manually input it yourself. I really like it just for accuracy, just to keep me on track, make sure that I'm hitting my protein goals, make sure I'm hitting my carb goals, 
goals, all of that kind of stuff. Definitely download that app if you guys haven't already. And with that, I am starting intermittent fasting. Now this is not going to be set in stone. If my body is telling me, hey, it's nine o'clock, I'm hungry, I need to eat, then of course I'm going to have breakfast. But if I can make it to that 12 o'clock mark, and then have all of my meals in between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m., then I'm going to try and do that. But again, it's all about listening to your body. Don't deprive yourself of anything. Don't make it this huge deal if you do eat before 12. I personally have to keep reminding myself that this is a lifestyle change. This isn't just like a fad diet that I'm gonna do for a month or two months and then once I get off of it, I'm gonna gain all of the weight back. Like that's not what this is. I'm going to try and change my lifestyle, change my eating habits, make healthier choices. But yeah, enough of me rambling, let's get into the meals. All right y'all, it is 12 o'clock, let's make some lunch. So this is one of my go-to meals that I eat all the time. For those of you who say you can't eat sandwiches while you lose weight, you're lying. So for my sandwich today, I'm just going to be using the Dave's Killer Bread. This is the 21 whole grains and seeds thin sliced. This bread is so, so good. I used to eat the Sara Lee artisanal bread all the time, but for weight loss purposes, I've changed it out to the Dave's Killer Bread. It only has 70 calories. It has pretty good macros, and I'll put like the calorie count and everything up here when I'm done making the sandwich. So let's start off with two pieces of this. So for my meat today, I'm using this Boar's Head Maple Honey Turkey. This is the best turkey ever. I'm obsessed with it. It is so, so good. I'm gonna do one and like a half pieces, I think. And then for cheese, I'm using provolone. I love provolone cheese. This is just the Lando Lakes brand. You can get like the low sodium provolone, whatever cheese that you wanna use, use it. Okay, so I put the turkey and the cheese on this half, and then on this half, I'm just going to add some light mayo. I honestly don't taste a difference between the light mayo and regular mayo. Just a little bit, about that much. And then to not make this sandwich so boring, I'm gonna add some cucumber. Cucumbers are honestly such a good snack. Like, if y'all are sleeping on cucumbers, you need to get some, because these are so good. And there you have it. Not the prettiest sandwich, but honestly, it's really, really good and it fills me up, so that's really important. Here are the macros up here if you guys wanted to know. I'm gonna go eat my sandwich. I am also going to be drinking a full water bottle. I really need to up my water intake. Like, it's really bad, so. And if this sandwich doesn't fill me up, then I'm going to add a little protein yogurt. This is 12 grams of protein. It's the Dannon Light and Fit Greek. One of my favorites, so go enjoy your lunch and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, y'all, excuse the appearance. Lincoln just got home from daycare not too long ago, so we've been playing and having a good time, but it is 2.15 right now. I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I'm going to make a snack. So I ended up not eating the yogurt from lunch, so I'm gonna eat it now. What, baby? Hold on, guys. <laughs> All right, Mr. Linky is now here. He's gonna help us make the yogurt, right? You gonna help mama? Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, you ready to put this uh, all together? Good yeah. job. We're gonna do yogurt, <laughs> granola, and strawberries. I <laughs> did You did it. Here is what our yogurt looks like. It's literally filled to the top, but this is gonna be uh, so good. I got some in your hair. Me and Link are gonna go share this and have this for our snack, and I will check back in with you guys pretty soon. All right guys, it is now 4.55. Lincoln just left to go to my mom's house so I could go to the gym for a little bit. I could have gone earlier today, but scheduling was just all messed up. So we're going a little bit late today. I'm gonna go ahead and change into a different outfit. I could wear this. This is like a jumpsuit from Lululemon, but honestly it has like yogurt stains all over it and I'm just not trying to get it out right now. But instead, I'm going to wear these blue leggings with this really cute crop top shirt from Nike. I feel like the blue right here match the leggings like perfectly. So I'm gonna put this on, put my shoes on, and we'll head out the door. Here is what the final outfit looks like. and gets cute, basic, good for cardio day, you know? I really, really hope the gym isn't packed, but I feel like there's gonna be so many people there at this time. It's pulled into the gym parking lot. Honestly, it looks pretty packed. I am gonna go ahead and take my pre-workout before I get in there. This is the Alani New Breezeberry. I've talked about it before. I actually really, really like it. It tastes really good. Your girl has no time to pour this in a cup, drink the whole thing. I literally just 
take it and chug some water right after. Cheers to cardio day! I have said multiple times today is cardio day. I am doing a Taylor Kate workout. I've shown you guys this workout before in the past, but in case you guys haven't seen those videos, I'm going to show you guys this again. I love this workout program. It is what has helped me lose 60 pounds. I'm literally sweating just sitting here in the car, so let's go inside. I believe that all of your dreams are the reason. You took my heart, all my keys, and my patience. You took my heart, all my sleep, and decoration. You mistake my love, I brought for you for foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had, something that you never seen, something that you never been. Mm -hmm. But I wake up and nothing's wrong. Just get ready for work, 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 work. work. You see me do me da 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 So tell me about that work, 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 work Da 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 When you walk out, da 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 Before the table, da 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 Beg you something, please Baby, don't you leave Don't leave me stuck here in the streets If I get another chance to I will never, no, never neglect you I mean, who am I to hold your best against you? All right, you guys, I just got home. It's about 7.15ish right now, so we need to make this dinner ASAP. Yeah, that was a great workout. Let me know down in the comments if you guys tried it out. I think that workout is seriously perfect for beginners. It's super quick and easy. The actual workout itself isn't that hard, and you sweat like crazy. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna make one of my favorite meals. It is like a chicken teriyaki bowl. I use this sauce by House of Tang. It's really, really good. It's just their classic stir fry. I use frozen veg vegetables and jasmine rice and you guys this meal is super quick it's delicious Excuse my appearance. It's only 10.15 and I feel so proud of myself. It's honestly such a great feeling just going, doing the workout, doing what I have to do, and then having the rest of the day just to do whatever I want. Not have that like nagging voice in the back of your head, like go to the gym, get your workout done. Besides the point, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and got a little insight into what I eat when I'm trying to lose weight. Guys, comment down below your favorite meal that you like to eat when you're in a calorie deficit or trying to lose weight. I would love to see that and incorporate it into my meal routines as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm feeling super motivated just to continue this journey, continue to lose weight and just enjoy the ride, the highs, the lows, and everything in between. If you're on a fitness journey as well, make sure to thumbs up this video and also subscribe so we can support each other along the way. I'm gonna go make my morning coffee. I have been looking forward to this since I woke up. But yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see in the next fitness video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.